Hi everyone. Well, today I've got a very fun cinnamon roll in a mug recipe for you. It's keto friendly, it's gluten free, and you just bake it up in your RV's microwave. I think you're gonna like this treat and it provides a healthy alternative to those classic cinnamon rolls that we love. I think the kids are gonna love this recipe as well. And this is a great one to teach your kids and your grandkids the art of cooking. I'm Jan Diatri and I love cooking in my RV but let's get cooking in your RV. So for this recipe, I need one egg yolk. So I'm just gonna separate the white from the yolk and maybe you can use the egg white for your morning smoothie. How's that? Here we go. Next, I'm gonna melt one tablespoon of butter and I'm using this really nifty microwave safe kitchen shot glass. It's awesome. It's very handy. I found it at Walmart. I'm going to take that egg yolk and my tablespoon of melted butter. And now I'm going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And as always, make sure it's pure vanilla. All right, let's whisk it up. Now for the dry ingredients, we're using a half a cup of almond flour and three tablespoons of Swerve confectioner sugar. Now you can use monk fruit with erythritol, but I really like the flavor of Swerve. Now I'm gonna use a half a teaspoon of xanthan gum, and this is pretty cool. This is gonna act as a binder and it's gluten-free, and you can find this just about anywhere. Now I'm gonna use a fourth of a teaspoon of baking powder and just a pinch of my Himalayan salt. We're going to give it a sift to get all the lumps and bumps out. I'm going to combine all these ingredients with a spatula and what I'm going for here is I want kind of a sticky and slightly crumbly consistency and then I'm going to use my fingers and then I'll form it into a ball. Here we go. Now in a separate bowl, I'm going to make the cinnamon roll filling and I'm using two teaspoons of Lakanto Golden Monk Fruit Sweetener with erythritol. And then I'm going to use a quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon. So good. Now you can also use Swerve Brown or Sucrine Gold. Those are both brown sugar alternatives. I'm going to mix this together just to combine. Now I'm going to take a piece of parchment paper and I really love these pre-cut sheets. And here's a great tip if you don't want your parchment paper to slip around, just spray it with a little bit of oil and it'll stay put. Now I'm gonna take my dough and I wanna form a log about one inch wide and eight inches long. This dough is really easy to work with, but you know what, if you don't get it perfect the first time, it's also great to just pack it together and start over, no big deal. Now that I've got my log done, I'm gonna spray the top with a little bit of avocado oil. And I wanna do that just so the filling will stick. Now I'm gonna sprinkle that cinnamon brown sugar mixture over the top. And I'm gonna press it down just to get it to stick. I'm gonna carefully roll up the cinnamon roll. Now don't worry, it's gonna crack and break a little bit, but you can just press it together with your fingers. No big deal at all. There we go. And here's your baking vessel. I've got a microwave safe mug. And as you can see, it's nice and wide so that cinnamon roll will fit right in there. Now I'm gonna spray the bottom and the sides with a little bit of avocado oil, and that's just so the cinnamon roll doesn't stick. And then I'm gonna very carefully drop it right down, just like that. Now in the microwave, I'm gonna bake my cinnamon roll for between 60 and 90 seconds. Now the timing depends on the output of your microwave. Now this microwave has an output of 1000 watts, so I'm gonna try 75 seconds. Now you can adjust the time to be longer or shorter in 10 second increments. Just make sure that you don't overcook it because it tends to dry out. While my cinnamon roll is baking, I'm gonna make the icing. So in a small bowl, I'm gonna use one tablespoon of powdered sugar substitute. 
and three quarters of a teaspoon of organic heavy whipping cream. That's it. And this is going to make the most beautiful, luscious, creamy topping. Perfect. <laughs> All right, now that my cinnamon roll is done, I'm gonna let it sit here and cool for a few minutes. All right, now that it's cool enough, I can go ahead and frost it with that icing. Look at how beautiful that is, just so luxurious and thick. Get every single little bit here. Mm -mm -mm. Hmm. And that is a perfect cinnamon roll in a mug. So let's talk about the nutrition facts for this keto cinnamon roll in a mug. One of these rolls has about 548 calories, 48 grams of total fat, 51 grams of total carbs, and nine grams of protein. After subtracting fiber and sugar alcohols though, the cinnamon roll has seven net carbs, and there's about 446 milligrams of sodium. Well, I hope you love this keto cinnamon roll in a mug as much as I do. It tastes great and it makes your RV smell fantastic. Let us know what your favorite cinnamon roll is in the comments below. And you know what? If you've got a great recipe or an RV tip that you'd like to share, we'll pass it along to other RVers. In the meantime, as always, give this video a thumbs up, share it with friends and family, and subscribe for more great RV recipes just like this.